you, decades from now, at age 80, or 75, or 85, or 90, pick a number, looking back on your life, looking back on years and decades that are yet to come, do they put a smile on your face? Are you content? Are you happy? Are you satisfied with the way you have lived your life up until that point? It is a deep question, and it's something that came up in a conversation with a friend. We're both in two different professions, and, and the conversations talked about where are we now, where do we want to be, what do we want to do? Are the things we're doing today meaningful and impactful on lives of others? Are they bigger than ourselves? And the answer is yes to both of them. But you always like to reflect and look back at what you've done, what you're doing, and what you could be doing going forward. And that is one of the things that he referenced in that conversation which really kind of stuck with me, right? I've been thinking about it for a while and I keep coming back to it. And sometimes you can spend a lot of time thinking about you at age 80 looking back on your life. Was it meaningful? Was it filled with purpose? joy, happiness, and contributions, and did it make a positive impact on the lives of others? For some, money is the motivation and primary driving force. For me, that has never been the North Star, because I've had opportunities in my career to go and chase money and a paycheck, but that was never my primary motivation. It will probably never be. Yes, it matters. You want to be paid for your experience, your knowledge, your contributions to an organization. Absolutely. It makes things easier. I love to travel. I like, I like nice watches and nice cars. When you have money, it makes all of that easier. You can help more people. Right? So I'm not saying making money is a bad thing because it's not. It's what you do with it. But what is your driving force? Because at age 80, is my life going to be more fulfilled and more complete with ten million dollars in the bank or with positively impacting ten, fifty, hundred lives. I think the latter wins every single time. So think about it, ask yourself, project yourself to age 80, look back on your life up until that moment, and most importantly look back at the years that are yet to come and be aware of how that process might shape and influence your decisions today and most importantly decisions and paths you're yet to take in your life and your career. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best and think about you at age 80. Have a great day.